Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and we're taking a look at the Immoral Thieves versus North Remembers War. Um, taking a look at it, 83 to 81. Awesome job to both clans, but Immoral Thieves came out on top. Going through the bases, we'll um, take a look at how the stars lined up and uh, how those uh, two stars were were uh, were gained on Immoral Thieves' part and how they got the win. Uh, we're going to focus on Town Hall 9 today just because uh, Town Hall 11 I had in a previous video or maybe a later video. I'm recording these both at the same time. I don't know which one I'll upload first, but I'm having a Town Hall 11 in a separate video. And Town Hall 10 really is mostly we're seeing dips on Town Hall 9s and then going up to two-star Town Hall 11s. We're not seeing that much interesting Town Hall 10 action right now. Um, I, I will show Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 10 three stars when I see them, though, that being said. Um, so anyway, taking a look at the war, as far as what um, North Remembers did, got the 11s two-starred, um, left quite a few 10s, I wouldn't say quite a few, left a few 10s, I think five, um, not too many, um, but this one was one-starred, which is something that you don't want to have happen, but it, you know, it happened and... Uh, that adds one star to the total that they didn't get. Um, and then for the Immoral Thieves side, um, same two stars on the 11s, but they did a little better on the 10s, which was funny because going through, they actually used a lot of dip attacks. Um, their Town Hall 10s had to go low and take out a number of these Town Hall 9 bases. But that's the thing. Town Hall 10's kind of a weird situation right now where you can afford to use a bunch of dip attacks because the only other job for Town Hall 10s right now is really going up and uh, getting the two stars up here, which I would show, but we've just seen so many of them recently. Um, and you can go back and check out my other videos. I want to focus on Town Hall 9 for this war. I think it's probably going to be the most helpful, most interesting for you guys as of now. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at a few attacks. Um, I think I have four of them for you guys. Uh, first one, and these are all kind of different attacks, different stuff you guys can try out. I wanted to have a little bit of variety in this, um, but also some very solid strategies that I would recommend on a lot of different bases, not just the really niche attacks. But anyway, uh, this is Thief coming in here, and I like how he's going directly at that Tesla farm. I, you know, I should check if this is a cleanup attack. It gives some more context, but if it is, um, that was a good, if it's not, it's probably kind of lucky he encountered that Tesla farm right away, but if it's, if, uh, if it was a cleanup attack, I think that was a good decision because you want to get those high damage Teslas taken care of while you can, while you have pretty much all your troops, while you can do it pretty quickly and pretty cheaply. So nice stuff there. Comes in with the jump, the three golems uh, staying out in front, which is good. CC troops come out, but not a big deal because the golems are doing the tanking, has that heal to keep the bowlers up, keep a few of those wizards up, which is awesome. He has wizards in the middle of the base. That's some very high damage that a lot of people kind of disregard, but it's very important to have as much damage as possible. Awesome to see a few wizards doing stuff in there. I uh, like how he drops a few balloons in with those baby dragons. Just take out some of these defenses quicker, and uh, it will take away the uh, the times two damage from the baby dragons because they're so clumped up with other air troops. But it's definitely worth it. They'll always get that damage back as soon as those balloons die. Uh, you can see coming in at all angles with the baby dragons, starting strong on the left. I think he dropped one on the right that's gone down, but he still has three more left to deploy. There's probably a little bit of Tesla action, maybe just one Tesla there. Has the queen's ability, which he hasn't burned yet. Um, right there, goes ahead and pops it, and uh, this base is pretty much finished. Um, so many baby dragons left up. That's the thing, you know, if you can get those air defenses, even if your kill squad goes down, which it almost did here, he has a bowler, a wizard, and the queen up, but even if your kill squad goes down, typically the baby dragons are going to be enough, so just make sure you have enough to get those four air defenses. That's the important thing. As long as you have even a modest amount of baby dragons, that's typically going to be enough to get the job done. Two baby dragons to swag, that's 20 troop space, um, so I guess he technically attacked it with a town hall 8 camp space, although he had all the Town Hall 9 stuff besides that, so it wasn't really a Town Hall 8 attacking. But anyway, moving on, uh, this is Shockwave, I guess is how you would say that. Very clever attack, almost went south here. Uh, take a look, pops the Queen's ability pretty early, which I'm not sure was necessary. He doesn't really get any health back because she was right at full health when he popped it, but drops the King in, and uh, the King's ability is late. Um, very late. Right there, um, he's already almost dead when he pops it, so that needed to be two seconds earlier, but luckily the barbarians, if nothing else, get the queen taken out. So that's what I've said in the past. If, um, I, you know, I made that video a few back 
on identifying air bases and what air strategy to use. If the queen is exposed like that, especially when there's a lava hound in the CC, just do that quick trade, take out the queen for just, you know, your heroes or whatever, get a few defenses as well, zap quake one of those air defenses, then you're pretty much good to go if you can deploy your lava hounds in a good fashion with the balloons backing them up. So right here, the uh, deployment is a little bit chunky. Um, I think he has a heal spell though that he's going to drop on those balloons because they are getting pretty low. Now would be a good time. Drop the heal. I don't even think I really paid attention when I was picking this attack. So let's see when he does drop that heal. Um, it is, you know, his balloons have taken quite a bit of damage. Now he did bring a lot, so I guess he can afford to hang around and wait. He's probably saving it for those last defenses because if you take a look at how the base is set up, his lava hounds probably are going to pop. Yeah, right there. He has one more left up. They may pop, but he has another uh, three air targeting defenses even after that. So he still has to um, contend with those. I guess he drops the heal right here, but that Lava Hound actually is still up in the midst of everything. Drop that heal. Is he going to try to swag it actually? I didn't, I didn't see the end of this attack. I kind of skimmed through it really quickly. I guess he's going for a swag heal. Pretty risky stuff because his balloons are going down. Yeah, but he has enough balloons, so not that risky maybe. Um, I don't know what the Lava Hound's doing in the corner there. I guess he drew it out with a few archers or something. So it's just going to kind of sit over there. That was tricky. If that was planned, awesome stuff there. Because the Lava Pups oftentimes will attack that Lava Hound. Because the Lava Hound will typically sit in the middle of the base. The King already drew it out of the Clan Castle. So it'll just sit there. If the Lava Pups all gang up on it, they'll pop it. Then the Lava Pups that come out will kind of fight back. So that can kind of... Kind of uh, you know, start to ruin your attack because your own lava pups will go down. You'll have less cleanup. It'll take time. It'll waste a lot of time, both popping lava hound and fighting the pups that result. So that was very clever. I think that might have been intentional. I missed how he did it, but somehow he drew that lava hound into the corner. Right there, the pups do gang up on it, but it's too late. Swag's the heal, so took some guts, but he got the job done. A uh, nice attack to shockwave. All right, two more Town Hall 9 attacks. And this is some good stuff um, from this uh, this war. Cool attacks to watch. All very, very clean, very tricky. Um, Rambus. And one thing to mention, I do want to show some of the OHG attacks as well from our potluck, but I had to record these. I think these will be uploaded before I show anything from the OHG war. I had to show these first and get them recorded first uh, because the potluck will stay for like two days. This will, actually like three days even, this only stays for one day because it's a friendly challenge. Uh, so because of that, I have to kind of get these out as quickly as possible. So this is um, Rambus coming in here with some P.E.K.K.A.s, which is always cool to see. Has the bowlers backing it up, the, the healers, the rage. Uh, this is something that we used a lot in Genesis for a while. Don't see it quite as much as we used to. Is he going to miss the king's ability there? I think he might. No, gets it in time, actually. But we used to see this more in Genesis, but other clans are starting to use it more as well, just as we're not using it as much in Genesis. So kind of an interesting situation there. Sometimes people use uh, Valks. There's different names for it, different variations, but the concept's the same. You want those P.E.K.K.A.s and you want those Raged Healers. Now his healers have gone down, but look, those P.E.K.K.A.s are still going strong. They are pretty low on health. I think those last... Two are about to die. Actually, one of them is full health. Um, the one, the second one died, but the third one is at full health. So pretty amazing. It lasted that long, and it's still at full health. So you can see kind of the power of this strategy is when those P.E.K.K.A.s can get the splash heal on them. When all your troops are under those raged healers, you can move through the base really quickly and not lose a whole lot of troops doing so. Um, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and fast forward because there's just kind of that ring of trash and a few Teslas left up. Um, not much to see. He will kind of make his way through the rest of the base, taking everything out. A nice attack to Rambus. We have one more for you guys. Uh, number 27. So let's go to that. I think this was the dragon attack, actually. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> uh, mob. Coming in with some dragons, a lava hound, four quakes, or four lightning spells, excuse me. Really crazy stuff. Um, just sends those heroes in pretty fearless there. Um, there's a lot in the CC to deal with, but I think actually there's some barbarians, a giant, not like the Valks that would be a little more damaging 
to his heroes. So a little bit of a softer CC, I guess, there. Um, has the poison to help out as well. And basically, he gets a one-on-one -on -one between the two queens, but the defensive queen does not have that all-important ability. So it's going to lose the battle. He'll actually get that archer tower as well, just for a bonus. And from there, I think the queen actually stays up because she won't be targeted by that cannon. So she actually stays up a little while longer. That level, I think it's level 6 now, dragon in the CC. That Dragons are pretty high level. I mean, imagine a Town Hall 7 having that in their CC. Town Hall 7 must be so broken, but, you know, it's Town Hall 7. Uh, but that's that's a lot of damage, a lot of hit points for a Dragon. They keep, I mean, they keep making levels. There used to be level 3, then they made level 4, then level 5, now level 6 Dragons at Town Hall 11. I'm still waiting to see some people try to use those things to 3-star Town Hall 11s because they are powerful. But anyway, that Lava Hound making its way through right there at Pops. His dragon's kind of going up the gut of the base here. There is quite a few air targeting defenses back here. Archer Towers, uh, Wizard Towers, Teslas, the whole gang. But he has those balloons, and the balloons are such a good combination beside the dragons because the dragons do the tanking and the balloons kind of sneak in and finish everything off. Uh, right there, kind of a sneaky balloon. Uh, I don't think it'll get that uh, Wizard Tower. No, it doesn't. Goes ahead and drops one more. So he's not going to have any balloons for the Teslas, but the dragons are pretty... Doing, they're doing all right. That one uh, level 6 dragon, I think it is, will go down. But his own level 4s, and right there, that was huge. That dragon soaked up the Seeking Air Mine to help the dragons that had a little bit more health keep going. So pretty lucky, good trade there. It can be slow towards the end of the attack, but I think he had a few minions. He has a wizard. Luckily, he has a Lava Pup over there. That could have been pretty... Uh, pretty damaging if the lava pup wasn't there and if that was just left up. I don't know how much time he had left, but that could have uh, made him run out of time. I think that would, yeah, I'm pretty sure this attack seemed like it was going on for a long time. So anyway, it gets it taken out. The dragon steps up, takes out that spell factory, and from there, he's got everything uh, accounted for. Uh, army camp goes down. That's a three-star. Nice attack to mob, M-O-B, I guess that is, with the dots in between it the uh, periods, initials. So anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, was definitely a good war between these two clans. I'm not sure how much coverage I'll have. I know I have the Town Hall 11 video. Whether or not I've uploaded that, that yet, I don't know because I'm recording these both the same night, but I will have at least two videos from this war. Can't, I, w I would love to record more, but that's just, it's it lasts a day and I can only do my best to record when I have time. So thanks for watching. Good job to Immoral Thieves. They're doing pretty solid in the CWL so far. And a good war to North Remembers as well. Uh, made it a close war, which is always fun to see. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.